Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from SlideNote here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can cache data in Android. Whether it's that first image that you want to avoid downloading every time the user starts the app or whether it's those first 20 seconds of the video that you want to buffer in advance before the user even opens your app. Cache is the way to go about data that can be stored temporarily on your storage. Now it can be internal storage or external storage which means you get to control where your cache files are going. But remember one thing, the cache data may be deleted automatically by the system if it falls short of memory. So now let's see how cache works. Files stored in the files folder remain as long as you don't delete them, but in the cache storage you can actually store them temporarily. Now get cache dir gives you a reference to a file object that you can use to store files on the internal storage or you can use get external cache dir for the external storage to again store cache. Now we'll be talking about these two methods with the help of a simple example soon so don't worry about it. We'll also need to discuss external storage before we move to that application hence the next video will not be an application of the cache that we are talking about right now. In fact it will be about external storage. Now let's discuss how we can do that. So here the files are stored in data slash data package name cache folder. It's just like accessing your internal storage. And let's take a look at some sample code here. To store the data, I'll simply have file cache dir is get cache dir, which gives me a file reference. I can use this file reference to actually create another file, which is my text.txt, inside which I will store my cache data. Then I can use the file output stream to write data to that file here. As you guys notice, the file goes inside the constructor of file output stream, which is a class used to write data. And then ultimately to retrieve the data I can do something like this again get a reference to the cache directory then try to get the file which is your text my file my text.txt or whatever file that you give in the first place and then simply use the file input stream to read data from that file and we are simply done now at this point if things are not clear to you guys about storing and retrieving don't worry too much about it we'll be working out a nice example soon so let's go ahead further and stick to our plan. So what is cache storage? So when the device is low, Android may delete the files to recover some space so do not rely on the system to clean up these files. Now it would be a good practice that in your app somewhere you decide that these cache files will no longer be used and you manually try to set up some code for deleting these files which are not used anymore. And also the recommended practice by developer.android.com is to ensure that you stay within a limit like 1 MB which <laughs> sounds funny if you ask me but 1 MB for the internal storage if you ask me would be pretty good but for an external storage you can obviously have more data as cache but ensure that you don't overload the user's SD card with cache data. So let's talk about our simple example. There's again a save and an X button. There's activity B which has a load and back button. In this we're gonna put data inside the cache directory and in this we're gonna get data from the cache directory. Now in the next video we are not gonna talk about this application we are in fact gonna talk about external storage and how it works because cache directory is partly about storing cache in the external files and partly about storing them in the internal directory we have. So we gotta first take a look at external storage before we visit our cache application. In the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video Share this video, let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below and subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.